while my guys at lunch, I'm gonna do a little quick walk through to my shop and show you what's happening today in the Gator Pit on this Thursday, I believe June 10th. This is a badass cooker right here. You won't find this one anywhere. This is a Gator Pit meat slinger. Pellet hopper goes there. Here's the axles that we fabricate for our golf cart kit. Dual burners are attached to it. So this thing will have a golf cart kit, removable T-handle, dual 160,000 BTU burners. Front of it. I'll show you the actual wheels that are going on it. Check this shit out. Watch these. These are badass wheels. I love these gunmetal wheels. They just arrived today. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hell to the yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at all these rib racks. Bunch of rib racks. Gator pit rib racks. So those golf cart gunmetal wheels will go right here on these axles that we actually fabricate in-house. We make these guys. You can't buy these. We make them. Um, again, dual 160k PT burners over here. Let's see what the uh, welder Sal's got. Oh, by the way, Gator Pit's made in the USA. Yes, sir, we are made in the USA right here, Houston, Texas. As you can tell, they're made here in Houston, Texas. This is a 2440 Party Gator. Ooh-wee! I'm talking about, baby. Look at that. Tuning plates, real firebox, a hot plate for warming stuff up, beans, water pan, whatever you want. Road ports there, counterweighted. It's going to have a birdhouse stack on it. It's got the added side access door for easy clean out lower storage there's a big counterweight that we make big beefy counterweight got them little cheesy ass square tubers that a lot of these other guys put on there the cable system that break and don't work jam up on you no sir gator pit don't do that crap we're all about quality quality there you go there you go beautiful fit and finish look at the buffed out corners on this one beautiful beautiful welds yes sir look at that Going on over here and see what we got. Oh, backyard classic chef. Ooh, somebody's going to or went to Sam Houston State University. That's where my daughter's going, by the way. Sam Houston State University. Yep, my oldest, or my, my one and only daughter. I was going to say my oldest. I got two sons. But, uh, yeah, my daughter's going to be going to nursing school there. But anyway, uh, backyard classic chef on my website, GatorPit.net. You got a 20 diameter by 32 long main chamber. You got a vertical smoke box, birdhouse stack, two inch ball valve drain, beefy heavy duty all weather caches with foot brakes. This one has a square half inch thick firebox if I recall the specs. Yes sir, gas assist, heavy duty fire grate. That's a thick, thick, thick firebox door guys. The whole firebox is half inch thick. Gas assist in the back. There's the back of the back door plastic. Again, nice clean welds, smoothed out buff welds. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's back here. Oh, hell, we got two meat slingers sitting back here. Hot. Look at those meat slingers back there, baby. Mm hmm. There you go. One big old meat slinger 36. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I got to do a video on this one. I forgot about this one back here. Meat slinger pellet. Here's your hopper. I'll have to pull this one out later and get a full video of it. There's your pellet hopper. There's your big old smoke chamber where all your food goes. All right, and then over here, guess what? Offset firebox, wood burning stick wood, not pellet wood. Real wood logs going there. And this guy's gonna put gas assist in there as well. Lordy, he can do whatever he wants on this big old gator pit meat slinger. Offset pellet grill with an offset firebox. Real wood burning firebox. Badass. He's got some D-rings at it too. Some foot rings. Very nice. Let's see what else we got, guys. And girls. Nosing on out. See something sitting out in the parking lot. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is going to go see Tice Barbecue. I believe they're in Maine. Yes, you heard me. Maine. Way up to the northeast. Yep, go see Tice Barbecue right there. Custom sign we made using our new CNC plasma. Right, beautiful. Perfect cut quality. 
This is actually a gladiator on my website, GatorPit.net. This is a gladiator smoker with a lower mounted firebox that's baffled out, gas assist, and then over here you have a 24 by 48 charcoal grill. Yes, charcoal slash wood fired grill. This is walled off here. There's the wall here, quarter inch wall. So this is two cookers in one unit, which is what Mabel with Go See Tice Barbecue up in Maine wanted for her Jamaican barbecue restaurant. So if you're up in that area, go look at Go See Tice Barbecue. This is what they're cooking on. Real Texas barbecue pits, guys. That's what people want. They want quality. If you want a barbecue pit, you come to Texas to get one. If you want a quality barbecue pit, you come to Gator Pit in Texas to get one. Yes, sir. We don't play around. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Loving it. All right, guys. Let's move on over here. I'll give you all my contact information. It is right there. You want a Texas barbecue pit? You want a quality Texas barbecue pit? You want one from somebody who's been in the industry for some 30 years? All they've done is design and fabricate custom cookers for clients all around the world. And yes, I said all around the world. I've got Gator Pit customers in Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, South Korea, Ireland, the UK, there at, uh, in London. I've got them in Moscow, Russia. Finland, Norway, uh, got them uh, I mean, everywhere. I got them in Australia, everywhere, Mexico, Canada, you name it. We got a data pit there, guys. I'm not making this up. Social media, Google me, whatever. You'll see all that. There's my information. I'm Rich Robin, Gator Pit Texas Custom Barbecue Pits. Call me and let me know what we can do for you. See ya.